A life lesson I have learned over the past year is when something bad occurs, if you survived it, then there is a reason that it occurred. You can learn something from it. You can develop something new from that experience. Over time, you will get better. Even if right now it sucks, and even if right now it's been painful, even right now you feel sad about it, then go out and take control of the world. Take control of yourself. Be the person you want to be today. If you're not happy with yourself, then what are you going to do about it? And the first 20 minutes after you wake up is when your subconscious is most impressionable. So what are the first 20 minutes after you wake up is when your subconscious is most impressionable. So what you hear and see in those first 20 minutes will set your mood for the rest of the day. So when you get up in the morning, go to the mirror, look at yourself in the eyes and say, I love you and I respect you. Set that mood, set that intention for the day. One quote I have seen since I was a kid is that you must be willing to do that which others are not willing to do. I saw this back in the Scooby-Doo movie I had seen as a kid and it has stuck with me since. You may ask, well what does that mean? It means for you to be yourself, to do what you want to do and strive for what you want and don't let anyone compromise that. Who struggles in anything, you must keep going. You must suffer to grow. Even if you don't want to do it, or you don't like to do it, you just have to get it done. If that means going through the motions, then you go through the motions. For me as a kid, I've always hated cutting the grass. We have so much grass to cut, and it takes forever. And it's always like, oh, like I need to go cut the grass. And I'm like, I have so many things better that I could be doing with my life. But you know what I do? I go through the motions. I get the grass cut, I get it done. And when it's all done and cut, you look at the lawn and you realize it's so beautiful when it's cut because it looks so nice and everything looks so beautiful and perfect. And you're like, wow, I'm happy I did that. But you don't know that until it's done. So what are you going to do to develop yourself? Question yourself. No one can make you better. You must contour yourself. Be uncomfortable every day of your life because that is where growth Be uncomfortable every day of your life because that is where growth comes from. We run from the truth and to be successful, do what you hate. Go to the truth and educate yourself. Don't be afraid of yourself. Strive for the world that you could not be here and be in today. Stand up, prepared for war. If you're doing something important, you will have enemies. People will come for you and you have to be prepared to stand your ground. I had once heard that the struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. And I now do not believe in regret anymore because I believe that what I did at that time was the best choice I could make due to what I had and the circumstances. So never regret anything you choose to do because you did the best you could and sure if you fail or it doesn't go the way you planned. There was always something to be learned, to grow from. Another thing is I will not filter my life to others because that is not real. That is not honest and I've learned from my family as a child to value honesty. Be honest with yourself and be honest with others. So watch your inner self talk and monitor your inner conversations and take charge. You are not stupid for making a mistake. So do not call yourself stupid or no good because it is not true. You are simply learning and as you will learn and you will learn to grow until the day you die. A quote says that the wealthiest place on earth is not the mines but the graveyard. Because in the graveyard you will find inventions, ideas, thoughts and beliefs that were never exposed to and that were never acted upon due to inner talk. The fear of failure and the fear of success is what holds people back or people simply become comfortable and they stop taking risks and seeking discomfort. Do not mistake movement for progress. Educate yourself. However, education should not be a chore. You are not, if you're not happy or interested in what you are doing, then and you are, educate yourself. However, education should not be a chore. If you are not interested or happy in what you are doing, 
and you are stressed, then you are not biologically taking in information properly. So you are not being educated anymore. You are being lectured. The Marines have a saying. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to be successful, but nobody wants to put in the work and time to get there. So if you want to be successful, you have to first figure out what it does. You have to first figure out what does success mean to you. Don't just say success is a lot. Don't just say success is having a lot of money and being happy. That's not specific enough. What is happiness to you? What makes you happy is different for every single person. You want lots of money? Well, how much is a lot? What does a lot mean to you? Question yourself. That's the only way you're going to get answers. Once you know and can comprehend what you want, that is when you will be able to reach for success. So when you start to question yourself and you start to wonder what it is that you want to do in your life, that is where growth comes from. And when you find what it is you're looking for and what you want to do, just go for it and do whatever you can to achieve it. And never let anyone stop you from achieving your goal. Jim Carrey has said before, to risk being seen as the toughest thing in the world. Being seen as who you are is the scariest thing because that is when you are vulnerable. That is when you are being true to yourself and displaying yourself for the world to say, here I am, this is me. As well, you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance at doing what you want. Life is about telling the universe what you want and working towards it, while letting go of how it comes to pass. Question yourself to find out what you want and tell the universe and say, this is what I want in my life. And allow that to happen. You have two choices in life, love or fear. Choose love and never let fear turn you against your playful heart. So I ask you now, what is the most valuable thing you have? If your answer is not yourself, then you are not going to be successful until you learn to love yourself. You must love yourself and respect and forgive yourself before you can give that to anybody else. It is when you fully believe in yourself and feel empowered that you will be successful and you can achieve what you want. When you are empowered and you believe in yourself, you are unstoppable. I am unstoppable. For me, I question myself and say, well, what it is, what is it that I want to do? I want to empower individuals. And then I say, well, why is it that I want to do that? I want to empower individuals because I know the pain and the hurt that comes along with not believing in yourself, having low self-esteem, low self-concept, and feeling the pressure of those around us and what society puts on us. I have been through pain and it is through that pain that I have learned to love myself. I have learned to love life itself and what I am given and the honor I have to live this life. I am grateful for what I have. I am grateful for who I am and the capabilities I have. It is through knowing and trusting in yourself and being grateful that you can be unstoppable.